Hi, this tutorial will introduce to you the real-time MIDI node input and arpeggiator features of Cosmos F. Here I have the Cosmos F Saturn version 3 window open. Let's play it. As you see, there are four meso events and five, five micro events which are uniformly distributed inside 2000 milliseconds. I have also set the uh, Sears engine to chromatic scale with division 12, so it is a 12 tone chromatic scale. We can start Cosmos F by pressing the S key on the keyboard, but also using a MIDI note input. So I have created on this MIDI track of Logic a MIDI event with a note value of C4. So this note triggers Cosmos F directly. If I change the MIDI note value here, it changes also the micro event playback speeds accordingly. So, what if I add more notes and build a chord? Here we have a C major triad. We can make Cosmos F to respond uh, to each of these notes at the same time. We turn on both the density switch and the polyphony mode switch. When the density switch is on, the micro event density is assigned directly from the MIDI note event density, which is uh, at the moment 3. And when this switch is set to polyphony mode, each micro event inside a meso event gets the pitch value from a MIDI note of this uh, C major chord triad. So the first micro event will play C4, the second one the E4, and the third one G4. If this switch is in unison mode, then all the micro events are the same pitch. And here is how the chord notes are distributed to the micro events. fourth note to the chord. As you see the micro event density has changed to 4 because now we have 4 events in the chord. Now I will try to change some synthesis parameters of individual micro events. Now I'm copying the chord and change a bit the second one. explain the features of the arpeggiator. Here I turn on the arpeggiator. There are three modes, downwards, alternate and upwards. Still we have no arpeggio playing because we have to set the octave interval, which is set at the moment to zero. 
Usually the octal means a frequency relation 2 to 1, but we can freely choose this value for the arpeggio octaves here. Also we need to specify the iteration amount. The iteration amount defines how many octaves the arpeggio will run through. I'm playing with different arpeggio modes. Now I'm changing the octave range from full octave to smaller amounts, and you can clearly hear the effect. And this slider here adds random jittering to the arpeggiator values. I continue playing with the arpeggio parameters. I can introduce here the meso and micro mute switches, which will create interesting rhythmical effects with the use of the arpeggiator. So each number here corresponds to the respective meso and micro event. By clicking on them, we can easily mute each event on or off. So this was basically the structure of the MIDI input and the arpeggiator in Cosmos F. Let me improvise a bit more with the arpeggiator and the parallel universe included. The parallel universe here uses at the moment the pulse width modulation as sound source and performance filtering.